So, um, this is kind of non-wrestling related and then wrestling related. All right. So, in the sports world, something that has been very, very big and controversial is the fact that uh, the NBA's deal with Warner Media is set to expire, which means that NBA on TNT will not be happening. And it has been reported that it is because Warner is not trying to meet um, meet the NBA on a new deal, or I should say meet or match NBC in their offer, right? NBC is offering a 10-year, I think $2.5 billion deal for the NBA. Um, so there's that aspect to it. Um, but obviously this has a huge effect on wrestling because Warner Media also hosts AEW via TBS and TNT. There have been NBA on TNT games that have, you know, altered the scheduling of AEW, whether it be regular season or playoffs. So I want to know with, and, and, and by the way, to, to summarize all of this, it looks like Warner Media will not match the offer that NBC has made, meaning that NBA on TNT will not be a thing. So with that in mind, do you think that AEW is set for a big payday when it comes to Warner Media? Meaning, moving forward, All Elite Wrestling is going to get an astronomically larger amount of money to produce Dynamite and Collision. Yeah, I would think so. I'm not really good with <clears throat> good with all background stuff You're good. You're good. <laughs> like this is more like your territory yeah. but i would just think that yes if nba is not there then yeah on a logical note then they would probably get paid more but i'm gonna quickly pass this on to you because you know what you're talking about <laughs> yay so um when it when it comes to this particular deal the reason why i think this is just so interesting number one the ceo of of warner said that they don't need the nba which is a very bold statement. However, you know, I feel like when it comes to medium, when it comes to content, especially a, a company like Warner Media, they're looking at their bottom line and they're looking at, well, how much do we have to put in to make a large amount of profit? Now, over the past couple of years, it seems that AEW has been bringing in a significant, a significantly larger number as it pertains to revenue. Um, so I feel like Warner is looking at that like, well, if we're only investing X amount of dollars into this and we're getting this return, then why do we need to put X amount of dollars into this if it doesn't necessarily guarantee a return? Um, I think that this sets the table for AEW to have a lot more leverage going into negotiations because I believe that TNT has Warner. I mean, that TNT has Warner. I believe that TNT has the NHL. Um, outside, of, I think they have the NHL and I think they also have a little bit of the MLB outside of that. I think the NBA was like the next big thing. So I feel like AEW can command a bigger number and it seems like they're leaning in, right? They're producing more content with AEW. They just launched a match in a meal with, uh, Renee and RJ, uh, on TBS, so it looks like they are pivoting in, pivoting in a direction in which they are producing more content with AEW and looking to push them further and further. But we'll see what, what happens with that. But I want to know how everybody else feels about this. Do you think AEW is going to ask for a larger number uh, because of NBA on TNT uh, expiring, at least on TNT? Let us know in the comments below. But we're going to move on.